Hello and welcome back to Door Kickers, where we will be continuing the tale of two brothers by Dirk Dealer. We're continuing with number six, Friendly Faces. As you tell, I already have a little bit of planning done, that's because, uh, unfortunately I was recording this, and as I checked halfway through before I finished the map to see if it was all good, the footage was corrupted, so, you know, lovely. Alright, gotta read this again. Mm -mm. While making slow progress on blocked roads with your newly acquired truck, gunfire suddenly erupts ahead of you. The sound of battle starts to die down as men appear, as a man appears and waves you down. As you talk to a man, you understand that he was part of a team of Westerners sent to bring your family among others to safety before the Mujahedin reached your land. He is saddened to hear of your parents' fate, but his team is in dire need of help. They have taken casualties in the recent battle. One of the team members was taken captive by lo hostile locals. They moved down in the basement of an old war treatment plant. Follow enemy blow round and save the hostage while your new friend provides overwatch. Speeds of the essence. More locals are sure to arrive soon and overrun you. Now, uh, I say I got far in the map, but uh, I didn't really. I got like maybe up to here before I checked the footage, just to make sure. Ruskin's hit, that's alright. Take the shot. Good job. Okay, threat's taken care of. Ruskin will let you reload first. Now Shade. Shade's actually gonna move over there. Spy cam. Kick down door. Do what we do best. We are the door kickers after all. Okay, threat taken care of. Shade's gonna swap the positions with Ruskin, and he's gonna come up here and spy cam this. No threats. Clear this. Ooh, nice Ruskin. This is why we have Ruskin clear most corners, because of his lighter gun, he's able to deal with threats more easily. No threats up there. No threats up there. Let Shade reload in this, and Ruskin's also gonna reload up here while he has chance. All right, kick this door down. Uh, we're now gonna have Shade fall back and kind of just hold right here. So that way then we could let Ruskin come back. Shade's now gonna spy cam right there. No hostiles. Uh, they don't quite know where we're at, so just hand open that door. Alright. Oh, hello there. Now we can see in there, a little scary. We're actually gonna kick that door down. Cleared, cleared. Yeah, as I would say, that door opened on us, so... Let Shade reload. Sniper doesn't see anything. That's perfectly fine. Let Shade clear out a little bit more of this. He's gonna fall back. We know there's a hostile there, so grenade. Seems clear. Alright, uh, what are we gonna do next? I think smoke out right there is our next best bet. Good job, guys. 
shades just gonna... Oh my god. Some dude blew up. Don't know if that was a suicide bomber who was a little too trigger happy or what. Shade's gonna hop in there. Uh, Ruskin is gonna... Run up there, kind of park himself right there. Shade's gonna kick that down. God, this map. I know I compliment them in every... Every single time I play them, but... Dirk Diggler really outdoes himself. Okay, that could have been very bad. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's come in through here, clear that out. Okay, I can only assume hostages are going to be in this room or the room after, so flashbang out here. Alright, not a single hostage found. Instead, we do have a lot of gunfire. Well, there's one hostage. Right, we do need to technically go back the way we came from. Let Shade load up. Then Ruskin, Shade's in a clear here. Clear all this. Hello, hostage buddy. Could you move a little closer to uh, Shade, please? And thank you. Uh, I think if we're gonna go... Oh, we can't. It's blocked off. Alright, we need to go up here then. Alright, uh, I think what we're gonna do after this is smoke right here, so that way we don't have to worry about any hostiles there. And we're gonna make a mad dash into this room. Run. Now we could safely spy cam all this. Nothing. Alright. Door is going open. Moving over here. Ruskin's just gonna kind of watch our backs. Ooh, god. Hostiles. I knew reinforcements were coming and when Dirk Diggler says reinforcements are coming, they're coming, so... Because we know he definitely uh, made sure to add that as a little bit. Alright, one hostile taking... hostile hostage saved. And before I continue on, I need to check my recording, so I'll be back in a little bit. Alright, we're good, thank goodness. And we'll have to do that again. Alright, now we have Far From Home. That uh, correct, yep, six, seven, all right. Moving on, loading up. And here we are now, finally, with an expanded group, even though, uh, well, let's just pretend that, uh, Scotch is uh, the new shade. 
Kaida and uh, I don't, I don't know, man. Look, we we got you, team. <laughs> Expand group continues northward and now bear the well-worn and patched outfits to fires of old and the Great Western Alliance. The new friends offered their fallen comrades equipment as thanks for your assistance. One last hurdle remains before reaching the border of the Western Nation. It's an old station used by border guards built in a ball neck along a massive mountain chain. Pretty much anyone who has any sway over populace to the south of Westerners has already sided with the Mujadin, so the Sheik, who used the base to house his fighters, are to be considered hostile. Secure whatever valuables you can find that might aid your kin to the north in the coming fight. Hopefully the Mujin will be wise enough to not challenge the Westerners on their home turf, though. Hopefully they won't. So we have three objectives from what it seems, then our location to get out of there. And we now officially will have four units with us. Uh, we're gonna just... We're, we're gonna try and stick with our group, so let's choose our four units wisely that we're gonna be using throughout all of the campaign. So, Scotch will be guaranteed one of them. I think for any close encounters, we need Stonehill. I think we'll go with Joe. And then, I don't know, I feel like a sniper might be helpful, so pullings will be brought with us as well. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see what that's kind of like. So pullings, you're immediately gonna come here. I want you to clear this out with your superior line of sights. All right, so we're gonna come in. Uh, hmm. Do I want to go oh, the roundabout way, but guarantee I clear all the out? Yeah, I think it would be safe to do so. Wait for Alpha. Come in there. Come in there, and there. And Scotch is just kind of gonna chill there. Alpha, go. Joe, come up there. Go there. Scotch. Come there, and Pullings. Hold out right there. Safe. We can actually use this window to our advantage to scout out more. Alright, so once we come in here, Scotch check there, Stonehill check up here. Alright, seem to be doing pretty well for ourselves, let's check in there. They know we're here. Oh, that's why <laughs> I did. Okay. Oh God. Who knew? Horror games. They don't scare me. But apparently, door kickers is really out to give me a heart attack. Well, more specifically, Dirk is. I knew I should have been watching my back this entire time. Yep. This is all going downhill. I think we're gonna just do a safe little restart. Dirk, why must you do this to me? God. I was not ready for the sudden appearance of an enemy. Not at all. I have pulling swapped close quarters. He'll be Stonehill's right hand man in all these breaches. So, uh, because Dirk's map does have us actually require to use more tactics than most, we gotta have. So, we have to leave someone always watching our flank. So, that'll be Scotch's job. Main. Mainly, I... Dirk, why do you do this to me? Your your maps are beautiful. And your enemy spawn locations are deadly. Alright. Maybe, maybe this time. Please. Please have mercy on me. Alright. I knew I should check the corners. I knew there'd be different enemies. Yep, there he is. We saw him. I knew there'd be different enemy spawn locations too, and I still was like, ah, that area is guaranteed cleared.
Alright, good job, Stonehill. Alright, you two. Joe, right in here. Hold right there. Scotch, right in here. Hold right there. Joe, whatever you do, do not let a single enemy pass your line of sight. We're coming in. We're coming in hot. Pulling Scots right there. Don't Hill's got right there, and Scotch is gonna have all of up there. Pulling is good, he can swap. Stonehill's gonna come up and just watch that for us. No way. Alright, after our two failed attempts, and almost heart attack, <laughs> seriously, I don't get scared by ga horror games, but of course Door Kickers is the game that makes me jump at something. Oh right, we don't have a single member of Spy Cams on this team. That's just because I have a strict no Spy Cam rule for anything else. Doggo is barking again. Don't know what they're barking at. Uh, Stonehill, Scotch, Pullings. Stonehill, great work, but my god. These enemies, they are vicious. Alright, Pullings, you're gonna move up with Stonehill. Scotch has our backs right there. Joe is gonna start moving up right there. Stonehill and Pullings, close quarters team, got this. Let Stonehill reload actually, because he's a little low. Pullings is going to come up there, and Stonehill will go up there. Ooh, nice one, Pullings. Scotch is now going to run up here and hold there. Joe is now going to pull back, hold right there. Alright, so Scotch is going to get up close and personal with pullings, and we're going to have to start getting this hallway dealt with. Scotch, you're going to secure this. Which you did. Stonehill's gonna hold right there for the remainder. Sure, Pullings, kick that door for no reason. It did nothing to you, but, you know, kick it. Might as well. Move up and move up. Keep each other watched. Pullings is gonna clear out there while Scotch moves up with him. Cleared. Still holding all this. Scotch is gonna swap sides. Come over here. Cleared. Cleared. Alright. We're gonna let Scotch disable that. So now we have two options available to us. I think this is... Ah, do I split the team into two? Nah, nah, splitting the team up would be foolish. Uh, we're gonna actually have Stonehill wait before he comes over here. Uh, Joe is gonna make a sprint over there. Alpha, go. Now Stonehill sprints over. Pullings, come out there, go there, Scotch, cut across, Stonehill, come over there. Alright, Pullings, make your way up there. Seem to be good. So 
So now we have yet another very dangerous, very dangerous room. Breach that. Stonehill, go, go, go. Good job, Stonehill. Pullings, Scotch, hold that. <gasps> Suicide bombers, man. I know Dirk likes using them. I've had multiple encounters. Scotch and pullings are nothing but pu a bloody pulp. I see now that we have four members of our team. Dirk's no longer holding his punches. He is going full force, which I don't mind. It's always nice having a challenge. It always makes you have to improvise and over and adapt. All right, we're coming in here, Stonehill. You're gonna always be on point now. I need you, Stonehill, to breach these. All right, Stonehill, good job. I wish I used everyone's tools a little bit more, though. That is the only unfortunate part about losing people. Is you kind of wish you took advantage of the tools they had available. Okay, Joe. I was planning on making you run, Joe, but you know. So also that way we get you in a position right here to use grenade launcher. And then use it once more. Also, was it silenced? I Okay, no, it wasn't. I was about to say, grenade launchers don't get suppressors. Oh my god, Joe, you You're one of the worst gunmen we've ever had, Joe. Alright, we just need to go another way, then. Pushing through there is clearly out of Joe's league, and he's the one with the long range, so... And we're having to rely on him to take care of that, so uh, yeah. Ain't happening. Stonehills sniped more enemies with this shotgun than Joe has with this... What is it, MK-18? How, how, how are you that bad, Joe? Oh, that doesn't look friendly. That does not look friendly one bit. Oh, Dirk. Oh, your suicide bombers are well-placed. Enemies, great areas. I, I think this will be the first part that ends ever in a fail. Next time on Door Kickers. We'll come back, we'll get stronger, be more prepared and planned out, and get our revenge on Dirk and his maps. So far I'm liking this, so uh, you know, that's all that matters if you have fun playing a map, but I will be back for my revenge. For now, see you guys later.